Today I'll be doing a live commentary slash discussion on the Iron Burden. That is a consumable that drops your power by 100 when participating in the Iron Banner. And if you get kills while under the influence of Iron Burden, you can unlock a Fusion Rifle. I think it's 500 kills. It's a Triumph or something like that. But I don't really care as much about the Fusion. This is just a fun little self-imposed challenge that you can do for yourself. Of course, you are, you know, holding back your team. But when I use these Iron Burdens, I intend to actually grab a team of people who all want to be handicapped as well. So I see that as more fun when playing with the 6 stack. Otherwise, it's pretty much just a guaranteed mercy every single time with very little effort put forth. To me, that's not as fun. But you're telling me that I can go Iron Burden and then play with my friends? That does sound fun. But you have to change your approach to the game. Uh, right now, I'm about 680 and a half power using my PvE setup. So that involves my PvE roll Duke, my Tatara Gaze. I'll be aiming for the head. I usually aim for the body, but now I'm forced to aim for the head. I two tapped him, so he must be Iron Bird in two. There we go. Beautiful. That ammo would have been helpful. I'm going to have to punch somebody here. That's a last word. Let's throw this. He might try to melee me. He might try to fall. I'm ready for either. Okay, I got a mark. Disregard. And I'm still taking damage. Okay, so we got the melee through the barricade. I wasn't expecting that. Not a big deal. So I did mention it in the title. Here are some strategies you can employ to make the most of the Iron Burden. So for me, I'm using Tractor Cannon because it doesn't really care if they're high or light. It's still going to bounce them back. And there's a chance that you can just outright kill them by knocking them into a wall. Oh, I thought I hit that. I suck. Alright, so 2v3. It's nade out. It almost got us. You're gonna have to tank a single shot while I reload. You might notice I'm also preferencing high impact weapons because I can maybe body shot with my snipe but still clean up with the headshot of my hand cannon. I am about to have a bubble so I can push. Zone B lost. He jumped. I'm running. He's going to have to reload. He's already reloaded. I got the punch. Perfect. So what I'm going to do here is switch to feedback fence. Since people are more likely to be able to actually kill me inside of my bubble, feedback fence makes it so that I, I can actually win melee fights, thus proccing an overshield. If you do go into Iron Burden with a team, I highly recommend Malfeasance because it only takes five shots of Malfeasance to kill. Doesn't matter if you're under light. Doesn't matter if they're in a super, whatever. Let's see what they got for supers. So I'm going to try my best to use the super as late as possible. You captured zone B. You have the advantage. Press on. And here it is. One down. Two down. Punch me. There we go. Feedback fence activate. Let's step out, step in. I didn't step out of the bubble for that shot. There we go. Teammates got him while he was distracted. Look at my super. I got, what, an eighth of my super from just throwing the bubble and getting kills in it? I can still three tap with this hand cannon, which is awesome. I'll show you Malfeasance here in a sec after I grab some tractor cannon. Now I can start canceling the enemy supers as long as I live. So we should be seeing a Spectral Blades here very soon. I typically expect anybody running Spectral Blades to have the first super. I don't have kill clip, unfortunately. Shotgun could be flying in. I'm going to pre-fire just based on a sound cue I heard. I could have hit it if he aggressed. I missed a shot. Let's try this again. Perfect. Would have been a three tap too, even without the team fire, which is why I'm using Duke. It's a three tap anyway, you know. Again, goes with that high impact discussion I just had. There it is. So two golden guns or are they blade barrage? That's a single blade barrage. Now let's see if there's a goldie coming in. 
Tar Spectral could attract the next Blade Barrage, so I'm going to stay away from him. Plus, he's in biz. Bad place for me to be, but I do want those orbs. So it was a Blade Barrage. I win. Hide my tractor cannon for as long as I can. How many? Okay, so only two. Uh, so with all of them swarming me right there, there was a chance that I killed every single one of them. It's just I had to hit them before they actually meleeed. If I hit them during the melee, they ignore the knockback of the tractor cannon and are able to just lunge through it. But I still did my job there. Slowed him down. Look at my super. More than half. I'm going to pre-suppress here. There we go. I don't want him to be able to panic super. Change the tide of the match like that. Plus, I'm about to have another bubble and maybe even another tractor cannon. I'm actually going to switch to Malfeasance here for a sec. Made the mistake of having my inventory uh, not organized the way I wanted it to. I'm pretty meticulous with that. I want my weapon swaps to be as fast as possible. It's not the end of the world, though. I can still do work with the snipe. I just have to aim well. There we go. There it is. Get the kill flip. I don't think I can body shot him, but I'm going to try. I maybe should have rushed it down and threw the bubble on the flag. I do want to show you Malfeasance, though, against one super. So it, all it takes is five shots. Going to stand on that. We don't want him to get B, so I'm going to B automatically. I know my teammates are already at my home base. Just like that. Five shots. That's all it takes. Should be able to headshot when he walks out. Nice. That actually stopped the Nova Bomb. You know that's what they were going for. Watch it. It's about to spawn up and you'll see a Nova. Yeah, okay. So that's exactly what they were thinking. Three minutes remain. Keep the pressure. Bubbles like a light to a moth, man. Supers will go towards it. 162. There you go. There's a negative of the Iron Burden right there. Would have been dusted if he was a normal light level. Sweet. I got a light upgrade. Let's see. There's actually a better gauntlet though. Do I have the glimmer? I do. So I'm inching towards 700. Let's see here. No, I can't really do much with those boots. How are my bounties looking? Alright, so I'm getting closer to finishing them. That's one benefit of the Iron Burden. I think this is a really good mechanic that they can build upon. Uh, Bungie, they being Bungie in this case. Uh, where if you do have the Iron Burden active you do finish these bounties quicker, which is pretty cool. But I think they should go even further than that. Maybe extra tokens, extra rewards for winning with the Iron Burden so that it can incentivize maybe team play with the Iron Burden uh, for my team. This is the first time we actually genuinely bring out Malfeasance. We have toyed around with the idea in comp, but as far as a six man, this is the first time we're busting out Malfeasance and it's surprisingly extremely effective. Like, you almost can't tell that you're under the Iron Burden as long as everybody just shoots the same targets. Um, it's forcing me to aim for the head like I've already talked about. <laughs> I even busted out feedback vents, which you don't see, just to equalize the negative uh, health that I have inside the bubble. Because even though I have Armor of Light active, I'm just like a normal Guardian because of the Iron Burden. I'm talking too much. You guys have already heard my thoughts. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the Iron Burden, and I'll see you in the next one.